for this uh, structure for that first i'll draw the butane chain just click on this add or edit bonds icon select it single bond select this bond i'm deleting this bond click on this add or edit bond this is the butane chain now add bonds here add two more bonds and add here one more bond so now add atoms on these bonds to add atoms click on select place the cursor here double click on it right oh so here right hydrogen here right bromine double click on it right hydrogen so now change this single bonds to a wedge and hash bonds so click on this select this single bond go to bond type icon select the wedge so now the single bond is changed to wedge bond so select this bond and change that bond to a hashed wedge the same way select this bond and click hashed wedge select this bond and click wedge bond so the next one is uh, fisher projection so we have a predefined template on right side in shape library so this is the fisher projection just click on here and move here so now we need to add atoms on these bonds first here double click on it right cooh double click on it right cooh here double click on it right hydrogen double click oh double click oh double click and right hydrogen so this is the tartaric acid to write the name click on this insert text double click on it remove the label tartaric so next one is how do we draw the half projection to draw the half projection just we have in shape library we have a predefined template just click on this and move here so now if you want to add bonds on this just uh, click on the select icon and double click on it oh double click if you want hydrogen so here ch2 oh double click hydrogen oh double click hydrogen oh double click on it and write hydrogen if you want to delete any bonds in this structure we can also delete just select this bond and click on delete so this this bond also if you want to add uh, hydrogen here double click on it and we can add hydrogen here in this way we can draw the half projections the next one is how do we draw the chair confirmations to draw the chair confirmations we have a predefined templates here just click on it and drag here if you want to add bonds to this chair confirmation just click on this add or edit bonds icon just click you'll get a wedge bond here so if you want to change this bond what you have to do this just click on this select icon select this wedge bond and change here from bond type icon click on single bond so if you want to add more bonds on this chair confirmation so for example if i want to add a equatorial bond here if you want a origin axial bond so in this way we can add bonds to this chair confirmation so the next one is how do we draw the mechanisms so i'll show you show you the mechanism of hydrobromination of propene so for that what you have to do is click on this insert a chemistry block icon 
So here, first we need to draw the propene structure. So click on this add or edit icon. Place the cursor here and draw the structure of propene. Now change this single bond to a, select this single bond and change it to a double bond. If you click double bond left, the bond will come above the single bond. So now I'm clicking using the double bond right. So it will come below the single bond. Now group it. So this is the structure of propene. Now I'll write the HBR. To write the HBR, click on this add or edit bonds. Place the cursor here. Right click on your mouse and so initially it is selected as a double. In bond type, double is selected. What you have to do is now I'm deleting this and first select this single bond. Now change click on this add or edit bonds. Now write a single bond here. If you want to add atoms, click on this select, double click, PR, double click on it and hydrogen. So now we need to add a curved arrow. So from here shape library, we have a curved arrow here. Just select and place over here. So if you want to extend this curved arrow, select this curved arrow, place the cursor on this circle, round circle, and we can extend. If you want to move this curved arrow from one place to another place, place the cursor in between the dot lines and we can move this curved arrow. Now add an another arrow here. So change, decrease the size of this arrow. So now, now add a reaction arrow. So from here, select this reaction arrow and place over here. So to extend the reaction arrow, place the cursor here and extend a little bit. Now we need to write the carbocation. To write the car, instead of drawing the carbocation, I'm just copying this propene structure. Copy this propene structure. Click on copy and paste. We'll get an another structure of propene. Just move this structure here. And to add bonds, ungroup it and sell, change this double bond to a single bond. Select this double bond, go to bond type icon, click on this single bond. So now add a positive charge on middle carbon. To add a positive charge, click on this insert text icon, double click on it, remove the label, extend a little bit, place the positive charge on here. So now I'm copying this positive charge and paste. You'll get an another positive charge. Now write the bromide ion. To write the bromide ion, click on this insert text. Double click on it. Remove the label. Write BR. Now write the negative charge. To write the negative charge, click on this insert text. Double click on it and remove the label. And write a negative charge and extend a little bit and place this negative charge on bromine. So now select these two structures by using this select icon and group it. So now we can move this bromide ion from here to here. So now add the another curved arrow, bromide ion into carbocation. So I'm using this curved arrow from the shape library. So click this curved arrow and place here. To extend the curved arrow, select this curved arrow, place the cursor on the round circle and extend up to this positive charge. Now add a reaction arrow. To add a reaction arrow, click on this reaction arrow. Just place here and change this direction to downside. Now, we need to 
draw the final product. So select this structure, copy, paste. So move here and to edit this structure, just ungroup it. Click on this ungroup icon. So change this double bond to a single bond. Select this double bond and click on this single bond. Now add a single bond on middle carbon. To add a single bond, click on this add or edit bonds icon. Place the cursor here and add a single bond. Now add a bromine, bromine atom on select, click on select and double click and write BR. So this is the structure of two bromopropane. To write the name, click on this insert text, double click on it, remove the label, two bromo open. Now, if I want to save this mechanism, click on this save drawing. So we need to add name. So hydro bromination of hydro bromination hydrobromination of uh, propene so click save it is saved so it will go to saved shapes library so in future if you get a similar mechanism so we can directly use from here saved shapes for example If you want to use that image again, so just click on this 